And yeah. our oral bacteria and our oral environment actually affect our hormones? It can. Again, it's inflammation. Mm-hmm. So stress, this thing, cortisol. Cortisol impacts and leads to inflammation in the mouth. So if we're very stressed, we're clenching our teeth, cortisol is being released. These toxins that these bacteria can release, the inflammation that they can cause, they can affect our ability to conceive. They can affect sperm mobility and sperm motility, mm-hmm. and they can affect our actual pregnancies as well. Also, perimenopause, menopause, progesterone, estrogen, this affects how our gums are behaving, our collagen synthesis. So if we could support women through that journey with an oral health span, like how do we support ourselves nutritionally? How do we support our hormones? I love that hormones are really blowing up right now and that this is becoming more of a topic to support women through these different phases. There are more open-minded and progressive doctors now in fertility clinics testing the oral microbiome, not only of the mother, but the father too. So periodontal disease is something, if you have it, you want to manage it appropriately. It is chronic inflammation in the mouth. What happens in the mouth doesn't stay in the mouth. So if you have this inflammation going on in your mouth, you have inflammation essentially everywhere. 